Troy Brown then, pre South End at home. Troy, first defeat of the season on Saturday, but I mean, a it's it's been a long time coming. So you you must be happy that actually you know, you've you've got that good start, and I suppose it's just you know go on another run, isn't it? Yeah, um, we're not too uh, downbeat and disappointed because I think we uh, you know we 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 set us all out in the game. We had a slow first 20 minutes, but after that. Um, I think we was pretty much on top, but we, we seem to not be able to put the ball in the net on Saturday, um, which is disappointing, but you know, we're not too disheartened with the performance and we we let's get back on the saddle for the game tomorrow against South End. So just really those two things wrong of the start and you know the the inability to put the ball in the back of the net, which is I suppose the hardest thing in the game, isn't it? Yeah, I just think you know, they they were at home, they needed to win and they had the crowd behind them and they had a just a bit of a sharp start than us and um we, we we paid for that, but like I said, over the majority of the game, I thought we we battled and we were on top of the game. It's just about reacting in the right way now, isn't it? I mean, you're experienced enough to, to know what, what that's like. Yeah, um, like I said, we've got two home games now, um, Southend tomorrow and Dagenham on Saturday, and uh, we'll look to, to put things right and get back on back to winning ways and start another unbeaten run. Both yourselves and Southend got very tight defences this season, which might not be great for attacking football but as a centre half you won't mind that will you if you can get another clean sheet tomorrow yeah it might not make a great spectacle but um, if there's a zero there, I'm not really too fast so um, hopefully we can go on to, to win the game the gaffer changed the shape at half time on Saturday took Steve Elliott off how easy was it to slot back into the 4-4-2 the or the, you know, the flat back 4 yeah it was ok you know played it growing up and well most of my career so yeah it was alright and we adjusted well to it like we did at Tranmere away and I think the second half we, we dominated the game. It only looked like really catching us on the break because we were chasing the game so we, we were fairly solid. Like I said, after the first 15-20 minutes we were solid anyway. So um, if it's a back three, back four, I'm sure we'll be OK. But actually switching between the two is not a problem? No, no. Well, it appears not. You know, we did it well at Tranmere, came back to win the game and against Luton we didn't look too troubled so it's OK, yeah, it's good. Kobe's been recalled by Birmingham. How big a blow is that to the squad? Because obviously he's done so well here. I suppose it's a tribute to him. Yeah, he, Kobe's a good kid. You know, he's he's bright around training ground. He's got good banter and obviously he's got good ability on the pitch and he can nick a goal. And I'm sure the gaffer will do his best to replace him. I don't know whether he can come back or I don't know what the story is, but I'm sure uh, the gaffer will be, you know, looking to replace him maybe or even the lads who got here can score goals. John Marcus, Brian Harris, and Terry Gornell are fully capable of scoring goals. So. Maybe one of those guys will get their chance now. Yeah, I suppose Kobe stepped up. It's up to everyone else to step up, isn't it now? Yeah, Kobe did well in his stint. I think he got four goals with it. Um, so he did he did well for himself. And obviously he's done well enough to be called back to, to play at championship level at 18. If he does that, well done to him. Good man, thank you. Good Cheers. luck. Troy, that last season there was a few times where you, you lost games where you know, everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. But this season, that's the first defeat. And it there wasn't really much you did wrong apart from finishing the chance. Stuff. It's, a lot easier to to keep going after a game like that than sort of having to have a massive response. Yeah, I suppose it, it gives you a, a sense of momentum uh, in terms of we're, we're at a good stage now and we know we can see out games and um, we, we can win games from unwinnable positions like Tranmere away and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I suppose it gives us good confidence to, to go forward and, like I said, these next two games we'll look to get back on the saddle and start another unbeaten run. Yeah, the fact that Luton played 3-5-2 matched up from the start, do, do you think that is a compliment to Cheltenham? Yeah, I, th I think it is. I think you know, uh, teams are worrying about us as opposed to us worrying about them. Uh, considering we went away from home to their their backyard and they changed their shape to you know accommodate us, I think that is a big compliment. And you know, fair play, it, it, it worked for the first half, first 20 minutes, it worked well. And you know, we changed our shape then, and they couldn't get to grips with us, so and they had to change their shape. So it's a bit of a chess game. And, um, they they just came out on top because they got the goal, the important goal early on, and we, we couldn't find the net back in the net. You must have missed the thinking you know, it's going to go in soon because the, the shots were firing in from all angles, aren't they? At one it, point, whether the keeper was it in the you know saving the ball or we was it in the side net, and it was a bit frustrating. But uh, it's just one of those things, really. You know, it, we had it at Morecambe, we, we didn't score at Morecambe either, and it's just one of those things. It, it'll fall for us soon. Yeah, if you if you look at the amount of chances you created at Morecambe, particularly in the first half and then second half at Luton. So a couple of the players said after the game Saturday that there should be a big win coming up really if you can keep that, that amount of chances coming. It would be coming. nice to, to uh, put four past someone, three or four past someone, but yeah, I firmly believe we're creating the chances and one of those days is just going to click and someone's going to be on the end of uh, 
uh, a good beat. Yeah. You've been uh, pleased with your own performances so far this season? Yeah, I've been fairly steady. You know, um, it's a bit slow in pre-season, but uh, you know, I've slowly finding my feet and found my feet, so to speak. So we look to build on that, and you know, collectively we can, as a back three, back four, back five, we can uh, keep as many clean sheets as we can and, and win as many games as we can this season. Yeah, what's Matt Taylor like uh, to play with when you, when there's just two of you in there? Is it is it much yeah, different it, to Steve last season? No, you know, both experienced pros. Um, obviously, I'm playing on the other side on a play with Matt. That's the only major real difference. Um, it's, it's good either way, you know. Like I said, as a, a back three or back four, I think as a team, we're, we're, we're better collectively. You know, sometimes you think, oh, we defended well as a back four, but I think as a t you have to defend as a team. I think we're doing that all over the park, which is paying dividends with the, the, the clean sheets we've kept this season and the results we've picked up. Yeah, and goalkeeper-wise, Scott Brown, obviously, outstanding goalkeeper for Cheltenham for a long time, but Trevor has made a big... A very good start to life at the club, hasn't he? He's done very well. He's good with his feet. He talks well. Um, he, he, he commands his area well, which is, I think, you know, the whole team like like the fact that he commands his area well. And uh, yeah, he's done really well. Long may that continue. Yeah, distribution. He's, he's shown, doesn't he? he? Can set up attacks with his with his yeah, sort of kicking set it flat. Up Kobe against Accrington at home. I think he's getting a bit carried away with that one. He keeps trying that one. <laughs> Maybe we need to hold on to the ball, but no, he, he's doing all right. He's, he can he can pick a pass. Yeah. Yeah, and set pieces, uh, attacking set pieces. It seems we, we were talking about. It seems a matter of time before one of you get a goal because you, you, there's a lot of big lads going forward, hasn't it? For set pieces, yeah, Matt Taylor keeps getting Matt on the Taylor's end. Taylor's getting on the end of a few. Stevie's had a couple of chances, and I've had one. Uh, but uh, hopefully, I can get a few more and, and uh, contribute to the goals and build on how many I got last year. So, yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Cheers right. thanks. Thanks. Cheers.